Mr. Rohr is trying to figure out if I'm tall enough to ride this ride. <laughs> so how many of you have recently gone into your local supermarket or retail store only to be confronted with a sign? A sign that says this, experiencing a national coin shortage. If possible, please use your debit card, credit card, correct change, or other forms of payment. Thank you. Well, at least they said thank you. At least they said thank you. How about this sign? What about this one? Attention Kroger customers. Due to the nationwide coin shortage, we are unable to administer coinage at this time. We can lose any access change to your loyalty card to be used on your next shopping visit. We do apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. Thank you for your patience. So they have thanked us for our patience. So today, we're gonna to talk about where the coins went. Where are the coins for crying in the rain? You already know that I am Aurora Day and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. It's Money Monday, and before we really get into this, Mr. Rohrer has to tell you that the Federal Reserve says that right now we have a U.S. Coin Task Force. Yes, we've got the U.S. Coin Task Force, and they're hunting down the coins. Mr. Rohrer can't make this up, okay? Now, the Federal Reserve is saying that we are having a shortage of coins simply because of this pandemic. Secured entrepreneurs, what do you think? What do you believe? We know that in other countries, people have woken up and the banks have been closed. They could not get any money. In some countries, a certain bills were discontinued. Now, Ms. Aurora went into the supermarket. I asked the lady, could I get uh, cash back? Because I wanted to get some quarters to put in the water machine to fill my water bottles. And she said, well, they took all my coins. They took all the coins. We don't have any coins in here. Okay, so now if you took all the coins, it wasn't that you did not have any coins. You understand? Okay, so now we've got major retailers. We've got what? Starbucks, Wawa, CVS. I mean, that's just to name a few uh, who are asking people to either come in there with correct change pay by your credit card or your gift card. And what really gets me is that 7-Eleven is saying, hey, listen, we're giving out free Slurpees, okay? If you come in here with $5 and change, we'll give you a $5 bill, okay? One of the retailers is even saying, hey, listen, I think it's Kroger, I think, I think it's Kroger. They're saying, if you come in here and you pay for something in cash, but your old change, what we'll do is, we'll apply it to your next uh, uh, visit or we will donate it to some type of food bank or charity they're saying. So you just gonna take my money, you just playing for keeps, right? Okay, so you know, what say you secured entrepreneurs? But here's really where I'm going today. What is, what is really, really hitting home for a lot of us here in the secured entrepreneur community as it relates to the coin shortage? is that there's a whole lot of people, and, I'm, and Mr. Rohr reads all of your emails, so I know that what you're doing is you're taking the easy way out as, as it relates to now you're doing all these side hustles and you're doing all these side hustles because of the pandemic and people are paying you. People are paying you, okay? But you don't have a business. Now, pay attention to what's happening. When you go into these establishments, you must have a way to pay. If you do not have a way to pay, you cannot get, you cannot get anything in return. So it's kind of like a, um, when you go into the retail store and you buy something and they say, well, if you want to return it, you're only going to get a store credit. We're not giving you back the money. That is what is going on, okay? So now we don't know how long the coin shortage is. Now, when the Federal Reserve was asked about how long they think the coin shortage would actually be, they state that 
the coin shortage is going to hit heavily in the cities where the shut the shutdowns of of the local establishments are occurring we know that california is on their second round of shutdowns simply because they had a spike in the numbers for the virus okay so now the federal reserve is saying these local banks these um local retail places the laundry mats places like that that would that would be exchanging coins and would have a whole lot of coins are no longer circulating coins what say you secured entrepreneurs what say you? another thing that i read is that we are now being asked to bring whatever change we have in our homes to the bank if you have change in your home it's just sitting around we're being asked to bring it to the bank why because we're supposed to be helping the coin shortage I'm, I'm not i'm not really sure where that's going okay so the reason why i felt it was imperative to uh, to address today on money monday is because you all know that Mr. Aurora is constantly talking to you about having a business that is prepared to function internationally and look where the world is going we're in an age of digital currency why are we missing the coins is the pandemic that great because what they're saying is that because no one is spending money we know that that is not true the last video that Mr. Aurora made for you look how many companies have made billions of dollars in the first and second quarter people are spending money okay now locally we continue to spend money in the supermarket we did continue to spend money in the laundry mat why because the laundry mat and the dry cleaners were considered essential businesses so they were open people were still washing and drying their clothes okay how many of you have seen people coming out of Walmart with a television? <laughs> okay, they want they want to be they want to watch some TV. They bought it. Okay, people did receive stimulus checks, and I'm not going to get on to the whole. You know, there's a whole lot of people who still have not received a check. That's neither here nor there. However, the individuals who received that check went to Target. They they went to Walmart okay they they did circulate the money okay when the casinos opened up here in vegas people went they used the atm machines they got dollar bills or they put the little thing on the car however they they're playing these games and all so so it's not that people are not spending money many of us here in the secured entrepreneur movement made six figures in a week sometime many of us okay seven figures between the first and second quarter people have spent money with us we have circulated money okay why don't we have enough coins being pushed out of the federal reserve into these places okay now the place where i went to get the water well, that lady said, well, I have plenty of coins because everybody comes here and they put their coins in there. She said, well, I'm not going to take my coins to the bank because now I'm suspicious. Okay, secured entrepreneurs, please hear what Mr. Aurora is saying. We don't know what's really going on. And the Federal Reserve has not given us an answer as it relates to how long the shortage is going to last and how, you know, how far it's going to go. And then I read something about they might take the penny away. Like, what? What is really going on? Please have your businesses prepared. You know that Ms. Aurora will assist you in doing that. First of all, you need a merchant account. If in fact, first is the coins and then it's the, the dollar bills, we don't know. Let us be prepared. You know, Ms. Aurora always says protecting your business starts before you open for business. So. I thank you for emailing me. Please continue to do that at info at AuroraDayConsulting.com. Uh, do I know? Do I know? Info at AuroraDayConsulting.com. Happy Money Monday, okay? <laughs> and until next time.